Namashivaya children. Welcome to class 9th history where we are studying about the French Revolution. Children, in the earlier class we studied about the classes and how the class that is the estate that we call the third estate how did they bring about the revolution against the king and who were the philosophers how did they spread their ideas so today we shall be learning about the outbreak of the revolution now louis 16th the king of france had to increase taxes for the reasons that you have already learnt in the previous section how do you think he could have gone about doing this so let's see how did he, did he do this did he directly announce the taxes is it possible no it is not possible because he will be angering all the sections of the society and naturally he knows the result so what he will do in france of the old regime the monarch did not have the power to impose taxes however he want to according to his will he cannot do it so rather what he should do then he has to put the tax because his treasury is empty rather he what did he do was he called a meeting meeting of the estate generals which would then these estate general would pass the proposal for new taxes so the estate general what is this it is just like our parliament so this estate generals was a political body to which the three estates used to elect and send their representatives even in india we elect our representatives and send so in the same manner these estate general were the people who were sent as representatives who were elected by the three estates however the monarch alone could decide when to call the meeting of this particular estate general body last time when did he call it was in the year 1614 on 5th may 1789 louis 16 called together an assembly of the estate general to pass the proposal so here you can see the meeting of the estate general on may 5th 1789 this is the place where they used to sit and have the meeting you have uh, in our country parliament in the same manner this is the place where the king used to sit with the um, other members and have the meeting now a resplendent hall in versailles was prepared so he, the hall that was there in the versailles was the one which was used to have the meeting to host the delegates the first and second estates sent 300 representatives each who were seated in rows facing each other on two sides you can see here opposite sides they are sitting here okay while 600 members of the third estate had to stand at the back you can see here the people who are standing at the back are the 600 members of the third estate they who were those people the third estate was represented by more 
prosperous and educated members. 600 members who were there, no children. They were educated and also who were prosperous. Prosperous, how they were prosperous? Because they used to do trade. Now peasants, artisans and women were not allowed to enter the hall in the assembly. However, their grievances, whatever difficulties were there, they were facing and also whatever demands were there were written down in 40,000 letters and where the representatives from the third estate, the 600 representatives had brought with them to give to the king. Now, voting in the estate general in the past, how it was, means it had been conducted according to the principle that each estate will be having one vote. This time, Louis XVI was determined to continue the same practice. But the members of the third estate who were facing a lot of difficulty demanded that now voting can be conducted by the assembly as a whole where each member would have one vote. But do you think the king will accept this? No, he did not accept. When the king rejected this proposal, members of the third estate were very furious and they walked out of the assembly in protest against the king. The representatives of the third estate viewed themselves as a spokesman for the whole French nation. So did they go out and sit? No, they were not going to sit helplessly. So what did they do then? So on 20th June, they assembled in the hall of an indoor tennis court in the grounds of Versailles. There, what did they do? They declared themselves a national assembly and they took an oath. That is, they swore. Means, they, they took an oath not to disperse till they had drafted a constitution for France that would limit their powers of the monarch. Now, this National Assembly or these people who were there, uh, who took the oath, they were led by the philosopher called as Mirabu and Abbasius. Who is Mirabu? Mirabu was born in a noble family but was convinced of the need to do away with the society of feudal privilege. He was enjoying feudal privilege but when he saw the problems of the third estate, he kept away from the society of the feudal privileges. Mirabu brought out a journal and delivered powerful speeches uh, to the crowds assembled at Versailles. You know children, a powerful speech also will change the, bring lot of changes in the society and even among the people. Abbasius, he was originally a priest by profession and he wrote an influential pamphlet called What is the Third Estate? So you can see here the tennis court and oath by Jax Lewis David. So you can see here people are taking oath. They want to teach a lesson to the king. While the National Assembly was busy at Versailles drafting a constitution, they wanted to have their own constitution. They started writing down. Drafting means writing down the constitution. When they were busy in such thing, the rest of the France was seethed with turmoil. Means everywhere the people became angry on the king. A severe winter had meant a bad harvest. There was a, what was the reason? Means here is the reason, children. A severe winter was there 
winter and uh, you see children uh, the bad summer both are uh, without rain if you have uh, a dry season for more years it is also dangerous that you don't have any harvest in the same manner here also there was a severe winter which were, did not give a good production of crops and so what happened when such a situation comes naturally the price of the bread bread is a, like our essential need like we have rice roti and dal so these are essential commodities for us in the same manner here bread is a essential thing or food for all the people of the working class so this price of the bread was increased it was when it increased often the bakers used to exploit they used to take advantage of this situation and they used to stock the supplies it is so the so cruelly they used to um, increase the price and tell the people that the supply is very less so they are taking advantage of such a situation after spending hours in long queue at the bakery the and the women used to become very angry and they used to storm into the shops at the same time the king had ordered troops military troops to move into paris on 14 july the agitated crowd stormed and destroyed the bastille do you remember the bastille yes this is bastille and this is a prison where you i had told you in the starting that this incident has a connection so this is the bastille and the reason why they are attacking it this is the prison and a group of several hundred people marched towards the eastern part of the city and they stormed the fortress prison called as bastille so uh, they hoped to find that there are ammunition ammunition means here uh, guns um, and uh, certain other uh, things where they can bombard the king's palace and get back their uh, freedom so in order to get that they attacked the prison here you can see the prison no so this prison they will attack for the uh, taking away of the ammunition in the armed fight that followed uh, the commander of the bastille was killed and the prisoners were released though there were only seven of them yet the bastille was hated by all even after all the destruction the people were still angry because this bastille was the marking of the despotic power or the despotic rule of the king the fortress was completely destroyed and the stones which were used here you can see it is built of the stone so the stone fragments the stone blocks which were there were taken away by the people and it was sold in the market to all those who wished to keep a souvenir of its destruction means remember it at that they have they are going to put an end to the king's despotic rule here you can see how the liberated prisoners are parading in the uh, when they are released they are so happy that they are released from the uh, prison where they were kept by the king without any reason in the countryside rumors spread from village to village that the lords of the manor had hired bands of brigands who were on their way to destroy the ripe crops so 
this always you remember children rumors are very dangerous so when the people countryside means villagers so when the villagers started they came to know that they are going to be um, manors means here an estate consisting of the lord's lands and his mansion so when they came to know when uh, such a situation come the villagers were in a great fear frenzy of fear peasants in several districts they seized the hoes whatever they were using no to till the land the hoes and pitchforks and they attacked the chattuks chattuks is the castle castle or the residence belonging to a king or there may be a noble man also there they looted the um, stocked grains that were there in this palace and they burned down the documents containing records of their dues which was not actually it was a wrong isn't it the noblemen and kings are troubling the people so they burnt all the documents a large number of noble um, when they came to know that they will be killed by these peasants they fled from their homes many of them migrating to the neighboring countries they were so much afraid that they will be killed by these angry farmers faced with the power of his revolting subjects what did the king do the king finally accorded recognition to the national assembly he didn't have any other go so what he should do he naturally he had to accept the national assembly and he had to accept the principle that his power would from now on uh, be checked by the constitution so you can see here children that how the peasants have burnt the chattuks and here they are the chattuks children which i told you they are the palaces of the noble men and you can see here how the noble men are running away fleeing away because of the fear that they will be killed so the farmers are have put a fire to these chattuks which are there in the countryside now on the night of 4th august 1789 the assembly passed a decree abolishing the feudal system of obligations and taxes members of the clergy too they were forced to give up their privileges until they were enjoying lot of privileges they were not paying any taxes tithe were abolished which was put on the farmers and lands that were owned until now by the church they were to be given back as a result the government acquired assets so you can see here how they all gathered uh, the national assembly on the uh, 9th uh, sorry on the night of 4th august 1789 this is the picture of the national assembly here so that's all for today children how the outbreak of the revolution was there in the france let us continue with the next content in the next class i'll be back children for now namashivaya